Welcome back to the third tray build video. I just want to quickly start off by saying thanks to you guys that have subscribed. We're just over 500 subscribers now. Halfway there to a thousand. It doesn't seem like much, but it is to me. I really appreciate every one of you that have subscribed and yeah, it, all the to all the people that keep sending me messages and stuff asking questions or even leaving comments saying I appreciate the videos and stuff just want to let you know that I appreciate you guys and I wouldn't keep doing these videos if you just didn't like them so yeah back to the build so today we got the main support rails to weld on and then we got to weld the mounts that come off those support rails that go to the chassis mount. So these are the main support rails I was talking about. Pretty much they just go along from the front to the back. Obviously not going to go to here because there's nothing for it to sit on. And most of the weight will be over this section of the tray. But anyway, this is 38 by 75 mil C channel. It is five to six mil thick, so it's plenty strong enough. So it's just gonna get welded like that. I've got to cut these mounts down to the height that I want. I've roughly worked out they're gonna be 200 mil long to go from here. So pretty, pretty much a 125 mil longer than the top of this, which will be the bottom. But anyway, they're gonna pretty much mount like that wherever the supports are. Obviously they're too long, but you get the picture. So yeah, let's bust out the welder and we'll start welding these main supports. So I've just tacked these main rails on the tray. So my idea is I think I'll use a spool gun to pretty much weld the rest of it together. Um, still got to get these mounts, these vertical mounts for the tray. So I've got to cut them down to size. And then I've already measured out where the back two go. And if you don't know, the front mounts are actually different. They pretty much sit on top of the chassis and the other ones sit to the side. So I'll get these back ones um, done first and then get the tray sitting on and I'll work out what I'm going to do with the front mounts when it comes to it. So yeah, I'll get tacking those back mounts on and then chuck the tray on and see how it goes. Righto, so I pretty much, like I made a mistake. I got all these mounts tacked up and everything and um, realized that I've measured off here and this part is the longest point of the tray to get the spacing from the tray to the cab. So I ended up 40 mil too far that way on the mount. So the tray was almost touching the cab. So I had to grind the mounts off and re-clean everything. And I just started to tack these back on. I got onto the second mount and the torch is pretty much broken. So I was just welding along and then the tungsten all started to pretty much destroy itself. And as I picked the, pulled away and stopped welding, I found that the torch is pretty much cracked. So I'm gonna have to get a new torch, but I'm gonna try and meg the rest of these or at least tack the mounts on and see if I can get another torch. So we'll see how this goes with the spool gun guys. And um, yeah. So that is all four mounts re-welded up. Um, it is way faster as you might have seen with the spool gun. Um, that's another thing guys and girls. If you are trying to build a tray and you want to build an aluminium one and you don't want to try a TIG, buy a MIG that you can get a spool gun for. Like the Sigweld one, I bought the spool gun. I think it's around $500 just for the spool gun. But it is worth it. Like you will be able to do your own tray out of aluminium. You're just not gonna have any pretty welds, but most of them that you're gonna see, you can just grind back. Um, so don't be scared to try 
and build an aluminium tray yourself. Got a guide on the welder as well, a rough guide to what your settings need to be. And then just a few YouTube videos and a bit of practice and you should be able to get it going. It's a bit different to um, migging steel. Obviously like the spark as you might have seen is green and stuff. Um, and you do get a lot of um, like a lot of soot coming off it as well. Kind of I guess like a, they kind of just look like a gasless MIG world. Um, but yeah, it's way easier than TIGGING. That's for sure, so don't be scared if you want to give an aluminium tray a go, just get a spool gun. Unimig make one as well, that's meant to be pretty good, so yeah. But anyway, that's them. Don't know if I'll be able to get it back on the car myself, but I might give it a go. I had my father-in-law come help me before. This tray isn't heavy, I could lift it by myself, it's just awkward because it's so big. So anyway, we'll give it a go and see what happens. Alright, so that's it. You can see that I got the tray on by myself. Uh, it's a bit awkward, but I got it done. So the mounts are just tacked on. Main rails are pretty much fully welded. Might add a couple more welds here and there to strengthen it up a bit, just to make sure it's not going to fall apart. But yeah, it's looking pretty mint. So this will be the end of my day today. I'm just a bit over it. Had a few mistakes, plus the TIG torch killed itself today. So. I'm going to pretty much pack up from here, but I'll be back tomorrow, so I'll see you guys in two seconds. Bit of drama to start the day off, um, so pretty much the C-channel, because I've made the C-channel run along the length of the chassis, I should have bought box section, some thick box section, but I got the C-channel because, well, I thought it would work, and it's 6 mil C-channel, so, but yeah, if you're going to do these rails, guys, just upgrade some box section, it's much easier, because obviously one side of the C-channel you got the checkout, I'll show you guys what I mean. So see how obviously these are the mounts that go down to the chassis. This side can be welded because it's flat but this side's all hollow. So these two back mounts are good but then when you get up the front where I've put this rail here, the mount is right down there. So I'm thinking I'm just going to put this C channel, weld this C channel down here to this one and that will give it enough support and then I'll just get like spaces to go from the mount here the chassis mount up to the C channel and just bolt it through there so yeah I've seen that done before I didn't really want to do it like I don't like the idea of the spacer but it is going to be strong enough I've seen dodgier stuff done to trays before so yeah I'll take the tray back off weld that on and then I'm gonna to have to go find some probably aluminium I do have steel here but I'd prefer to use aluminium on aluminium um, yeah just some spaces for the front and then that'll be it and then we'll get on to welding all the aluminium sheet on Alright, so I just finished up doing all the mounts, they're pretty solid, the penetration's definitely there. Anyway, so we'll get on to putting the sheet on, I'm going to sikaflex it but we'll dry fit it first and see when it's done. Righto guys, so as you can see the tray sheets are fitting pretty good, so what I'm going to do now is take them off, I'll start sikaflexing where I'm not going to weld, I'll probably like tack it in or stitch weld it all underneath. Um, obviously I'm using the spool gun now, so yeah, let's get into it.
So I've pretty much got all the Ali sheet on. I have, believe it or not, ran out of aluminium wire for the spool gun now. So now I can't well with the spool gun and the TIG torch is stuffed. So I'm all out of luck today. Uh, so I'm just gonna finish up. I'm going to bolt the toolboxes and guards on. Obviously can't go get any wire because the tub's still off the car and no one's here to go drop me off to get some wire. Anyway, so I will bolt these on, give you a bit of a look, and then I will see you next week. But for you, obviously, it'll be in a second. So that is the toolbox and guards all bolted up just on this one side. I'm not going to go bolt the other side on because it was just to give you guys a look on how it's going and what it looks like pretty much finished. So yeah, I'm going to get it powder coated and then I'll show you guys. I'll see you when that's all done.